Hi, if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Or if you're like me and you've been here before, welcome back. I'm Chaotic Curl and for this week's video, we're going to be making a granny stripe tank top. But before I get into that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to check me out over on my Instagram and on TikTok at chaoticcurl underscore crafts, where you'll be able to see pictures of this project as well as previous projects and a couple of tips and tricks that I've been posting So over there. for this week's project, like I said, I am going to be making that granny stripe tank top. It is going to be the same idea as far as the granny square, but it's going to be stripe. <laughs> not a square so I am gonna still be using the same stitch as far as the three clusters of double crochet but the yarn that I'm gonna be using for this project is gonna be this beautiful marigold color it's called La Vida Rose yarn and it is 100% acrylic now this yarn does call for a one to three millimeter hook size unfortunately I don't have any hooks that small so I am gonna be using my 3.5 millimeter hook for this project and I did make sure to measure myself as far as width and length since this project is going to be made out to measure. I, I make a lot of my projects that way since it is just a lot easier for me to do it that way since I'm not following any patterns. But I will show you guys how to make that granny stripe so that way if you do decide to make this project yourself you can always just go ahead and follow my tutorial and make it and I did also make sure to list in the description box below all of the supplies that I used for this project including this beautiful ring that I also got off of Amazon and the stitch markers and everything else that I used for this project so don't forget to check out the description box before you get started just so you have all of your supplies ready to go but let's get started on this week's project okay so I'm going to show you guys how to do the granny stripe and I'm actually going to be using this pink yarn that I have here it's acrylic yarn from Red Heart and I'm going to be using the hook size that it calls for but of course for your project you can use whatever yarn and the hook size that you'll be using and just follow these instructions so to get started i'm actually going to be chaining a multiple of three plus two chains so i'm going to start off by chaining 24. So here is my chain of 24 and now we're actually going to add those last two chains that I need. So we're going to have a total of 26 and for this pattern we're actually going to skip those last two chains that I made and we're going to go right into that third chain from the hook and we're going to start off with a single crochet. And from here, we'll be single crocheting all the way across the row until we make it to that last chain. Okay, so I finished my single crochet row. This is the first row. I'm just going to turn the pattern over and we're going to get started with our double crochets and the granny stripe. So from here, I'm going to start with my stacked single crochet turning stitch. It's going to count as the first double crochet for the row and then right into that same stitch where I did the stacked single crochet, I'm going to do another double crochet and from here, I'm going to skip two stitches so one two and into that third one i'm going to do my cluster of three double crochet and now we skip these two and go right into that third one with another cluster of three double crochet Then again, we skip two and in that third one, we go right with our three double crochets in that cluster. And you're just gonna continue this way all the way down the row where you're gonna be skipping two stitches and doing a cluster of three double crochet in the third stitch until we make it to the end. And then of course, I'll show you guys how to work it at the end of the row. 
Okay, so I've made it to my last three stitches of the row and as you can see that chain two that we had from the previous single crochet row, we're actually going to work two double crochet into that stitch to finish this row of double crochets. Okay, so this is the first row of our granny stripe. So now we're just going to go ahead and turn our project over and I'm not going to make any additional chains. I'm going to start off with my stacked single crochet for that turning stitch and we are actually going to skip the double crochet from the previous row as you can see here and I'm going to go into that space between the clusters. So I'm going to work my three double crochets right into that chain, right into that space, I'm sorry. And from there, I'm actually going to skip the other cluster of double crochets from the previous row and we're going to go right into the space between the two clusters and work another cluster of three double crochet. And again, we're just going to continue this way all the way down the row until we make it to the end and of course, I'll show you guys what to do at the end of this row as well. Okay, so as you can see, I have my last space here, so I'm just going to work a final cluster of three double crochets into that last space. And of course, to end the row, as we started it with one double crochet, we're going to be finishing it with one double crochet in that last stitch of the row. So now we can just go ahead and turn the project over and since this is a two row repeat we're going to be repeating the first row of double crochet again. So I'm going to be working my stacked single crochet turning stitch into that first or into the last double crochet from the previous row and then I'm actually going to work the next double crochet into that space from the previous row between the one double crochet and the last cluster of three. And then from here, we're going to skip this cluster of three double crochets and go right into the next space. And we're going to work another cluster of three double crochet. And we're actually going to continue that way across the row, working the three clusters into the chain spaces and then finishing off with two double crochet at the end of the row. So as I mentioned, this is a two row repeat. So once I finish this row that I'm currently working on, the next row would be starting off with one double crochet where we would skip that next double crochet there and work right into the space with our clusters of three double crochet. And then the one following that would have two double crochets at the beginning and at the end. So what we basically be doing is repeating rows two and three. We would not be repeating the single crochet row again, but of course you would just continue working it up that way until you make it to the end of the project or to the length that you want it to be. But that's how you work up the granny stripe. Okay, so now that we know how to do the granny stripe, I'm actually getting started with the yarn that I showed you guys at the beginning of the project. So this is the front panel that I'm working on and I actually did it at up to 102 chains, which is gonna be three times 34 plus the two additional chains that we have to add at the end. Okay, so in this clip, I already have my first row of single crochets completed and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. It does actually fit across my chest where I need it to fit. So this is perfect for me to get started. So I'm just going to start off with my double crochet rows, as you can see here, where I'm doing the clusters of three into the third stitch after skipping two stitches from the single crochet row before. So this is what it's looking like 10 rows in and I'm just going to keep doing the granny stripe from here until I of course build it up to where I need it to. So I'm going to keep checking back in after every 10 rows just so that you guys can see the project growing along with me. Thank you. 
here we go this is the 20 rows of the granny stripe I'm, I'm really liking the way this color looks it's very pretty very bright very vibrant um i'm in love with the color yellow but this yellow i don't know why it just it's making me so happy to be able to work up in this color So here is where I'm working on row 30 and actually before this row, the night before, I had been frogging some old projects that I had worked on years back and that those projects were made with red heart yarn which unfortunately is a yarn that I am allergic to so I did end up having an eczema flare up and that's why you're not seeing my face from here forward. So here is where I'm finishing off the rectangle portion of the top. So I did mark it with the safety pin as you can see here for where I'm just going to switch over from the granny stripe into single crochet. And this is actually row 31. So from here I'm just going to do 11 more rows just to finish off the top and then I'll add the stripes and I'll come back and show you guys what it's looking like once everything is done. Okay, so here I have the finished back panel and the front panel, which as you can see has its straps attached. I made them in one piece and I also included these two strings so that the back str the straps are adjustable. So now I'm just going to sew the two pieces together and then the project will be finished and I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. But this is where I am so far. And for the front panel, I built it up to 30 stripes of the granny stripes and then I added, if I'm not mistaken, 12 more stripes to finish it off and I made sure to add the single crochet border before I started on the straps. So it should be a total of 42 stripe, 42 of the granny stripe plus two at the top and the bottom of the single crochet and the same thing with the back panel i did one row of single crochet 30 of the granny stripe and then another row of the single crochet but this is what it's looking like so far so i'll come back and show you guys once everything is sewn together 
Okay, I was able to sew the two pieces together, the front panel to the back panel. And we're looking at it from the back, but this is the finished piece. As you can see, the strings that I left, or the chains that I left in the straps, help to make it adjustable so I can either lower it so that it goes lower onto my body or heighten it so that it's more of a crop top. But this is what it looks like from the front. My granny stripe crop top. And this is what it looks like on. Thanks so much for joining me in this week's video. I am still healing from the eczema flare up that I had from some old yarn in my stash. <laughs> but I was able to finish the project. I'm loving the way the granny stripe is looking, the way the top fits is perfect. It's not too tight, but it's also not too loose. And I do actually really like that I made the back straps adjustable so I can wear it however I want. But thanks so much for joining me in this project. Don't forget to check out my Instagram and I'm also on TikTok at chaotic curl underscore crafts where you'll be able to see pictures and videos of this project as well as previous projects that i've made and some tiktoks that i'm making now so i'll see you guys there and i'll see you guys for my next project don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel so that way you can see my next project but i'll see you there and hopefully i'll be feeling better by then too bye